everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. That's right, I have a new game for us to check out, and I wanted to take some time to give my first impressions of this game and some overall feedback and just yeah I'm, ha I'm having fun it's it's interesting so there's so much going on in this game i really really love the style i love the graphics it's an idle rpg it's not time wasting either you really can just passively collect resources while sitting back doing nothing when you're going through your story they do open up a auto mode that lets you just completely keep going through the story collecting resources along the way of course the dungeons are really nice and allow you to farm without actually having to be there for every single battle. So, all right, I can do level four. I can't do level four. I can do level three. Let's go to level three. Let's challenge. Let's set it up. Boom. Let's do this three times. But really, we're only doing it once. There's just a lot of really great time-saving features in this game. Now, I do want to point out the graphics. As, as I said, the graphics are really nice, guys. Uh, they kind of give you a bit more of a StarCraft alien vibe. There's so much fun stuff going on with the robots, the creatures, and the space vibe overall. And I, I hope you guys like that style. It's something that I think is pretty cool. Um, the actual gameplay is kind of fun. It doesn't feel overly cheesy, right? Some of the games are just too cartoony. They bring a little bit of that in there with some cutesy fun stuff like the the panda here that is a healer a support champion. But for the most part, I think they do a really good job with interesting graphics. Now, one of my critiques with first impressions is these animations that pause, not my favorite, the pausing of the animations for doing their ultimates, but let's be honest, that's quicker than a lot of games. So many games have extremely long ultimates and type and other sort of abilities that just drag the fight on and you wish you could skip them. So all things considered, this isn't too bad at all. Now, uh, there's so many other aspects to this that I want to take a moment to show you guys. So let's get to that. One thing I really like is this wasteland feature here. Uh, you actually can go through, of course you can, I've already done this today, but I'll show you here. You actually can go through and take different paths. You're not forced to like choose a path then the rest of the path disappears. You actually can take advantage and make sure you're collecting all the rewards on a map without worrying about skipping part of the rewards. So I think that's kind of fun. I play some similar games and some of those features, you kind of have to choose a path and the rest of the path drops off. Or once you choose a path, you can't go back. In this game, you can kind of figure out your fastest path to, to collect rewards and maybe even skip some hard battles that you realize, okay, those level, they're too high of a level. I want to skip them onward. I really like that you're not kind of narrowed in to one specific path. They do have kind of a tower feature here, like I've started going through, I'm only on level 33, uh, pushing through, it actually goes down instead of up, I love that. But like a lot of games, collecting rewards along the way and hitting bosses along the way as well. This is called the Soul Mine Challenge, and I am on level 33 at the moment. Um, of course, there is a story campaign mode, as mentioned. The story challenges are nice. You actually can go through. I like that you set your formation. Like, the formation actually matters, and that's part of this game that's really neat, too. So, not only in story mode, but I should show you guys here. Like, the tanks have a little shield. They're your front line, right? And then you could have, like, your ranged units in the back and the other melee damage dealers in the middle, or a combination of that, of course. And you have commanders that boost the stats of your champions as well. So I think that's really nice that there's a lot of strategy going into this and a lot of figuring out your hero synergies, but you don't have to waste the time in doing a lot of manual runs. The auto feature is really nice for using their ultimates and honest, and when they're doing their basic abilities, they're just spamming on auto pretty much anyway. So it makes for a quick gameplay while still having some fun and getting to be creative and actually using some real strategy. Now they do have a battle pass, as we usually call them. They have this battle order. This one is with the character Omar. If you choose to purchase the extra part, you actually can get some bonuses. There's so many fun things here to get your extra Omars. In this character, the dupe system is really nice. It allows you to rank up your characters to higher levels. Uh, kind of like ascensions, I guess you could call it. Uh, and... 
yeah, these battle passes are pretty well valued. I think the premium one here, 15 bucks, getting duplicates of a character plus extras. They also have other passes in the store as well. They have a Wasteland Pass too, which allows you to get some limited summons and some other free champions like Sori, uh, Sorietta here. Super cool looking champion as well, right? I love the dragon. She's really cool. Look at the graphics, guys. It's so nice. So nice. But I love that they make it easy for you to get dupes of champions. So, boom. Oh, here we go. Lots of rewards as you go along, too. And one thing I noticed as far as getting champions, they actually have really good value packs besides a battle pass. Look at this. Recharge any amount. And you get this character for free. Free character for spending any amount in the game. That's not so bad. I think one thing that's I wanted to point out along those lines is their creative packs. Like they're actually quite interesting. They have really nice temporary um, store offers that pop up as well, and they even had some stuff that are temporary, like the this like boosted resource pack. That if you're if you're anxious to get really grinding and you don't want to wait to get that super pack for 24 hours, you could pop in, grab it for a couple bucks, and you got it. Um, I think. I think they're doing good. I think they have a lot of variety here in their packs. They have a lot of low cost offers as well, which is nice to see. There's monthly passes like a lot of games have. This one kind of reminds me of one of the games I played where it was like getting an extra, well, I think they were epic books every day. This is like getting, you get a summon every day, advanced recruitment cards as they're called here. Your first purchase also gets you the limited rec recruitment cards as well and some fragments and uh, battle merits. So these are really nice. I think these offers are really good and they, they sound very affordable and fair. So I like, I like the variety here as far as their offers go. I do also like their evolution system. Now, I don't have any extra new champions um, summoned to where I could show you the how duplicates feed into themselves. But as you can see here, you take one champion, you crunch a couple others, and you're good to go. It levels it up. You also can improve. So like this one, you can input a different character, but it has to be the same um, faction. So that's not too bad, the same alliance. Uh, here you could also dismiss low level heroes and crunch them for resources. You also can reset heroes or restore heroes. So I love that you could actually just reset someone and get all the resources back. Like for some reason I leveled this character up to level 10. I don't know why I did that. I didn't know what I was doing. It was the first day. Boom. Reset this hero. And I get my resources back. Now of course you can't get back an evolution. Like if you... If you, like this person, if I want to get him, if I want to undo my Omar, uh, I can't get back the other Omars that I crunched, the Orn that I crunched into my own Omar. So that's one thing to keep in mind here. But I really like these hero reset options. They, they take your gear off so you're not accidentally crunching your gear. They give you back the resources you use to level up the champion and to improve their talents and I think that's just a really nice feature to have especially if a champion or a game does any sort of hero rebalances like we've had that come in, come in handy um, in some of the games I play where they actually let you get your resources back if they change a champion then you're like I no longer like them I want my resources back they give them back so just another plus that I noticed in this game one little thing I actually forgot to notice while I was here on the screen, or, or forgot to mention, sorry, uh, was this, I love these little videos, guys. There's these hero showcase videos. So when they're showing some new champions that are available, or featured champions in packs, or the special summons, we have a little teaser video, so you could actually see their skills in action, as well as just some cool graphics of that character, of course. But I like that they give you a little bit of a teaser about what this character can do. Like this is Serena. She is a top level support champion and hopefully I'll be getting her soon. I don't have her yet, but we'll be getting Serena soon, I think, through just playing the game. I really, really like these little teaser videos as well. Another fun aspect that makes this easy is the grinding of character levels. You only need to get five characters here till the max level. Once you've got those characters to max level, you actually can just fill in any other character. You can just go, all right, let's see, let's, let's use, let's use this guy, boom. 
that character is instantly level 40 as well. It kind of, they inherit the, the level of the lowest one of your rankings down here. So this is really nice to save your resources long term. You don't have to literally grind, grind, grind and get 50 level 50s. You know how it goes in, in some of those games. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting max level champions, which the champion levels are pretty high in this game, actually. So you don't want to be having to get a bunch of level 100s. It's just not something that would be very easy. So they make it a little bit easier in the fact that you only have to do a few. Now, I do want to showcase the summons in this game. They're really fun. They have different limited summons. A, a, even the separate one that opens once you hit a certain story stage. But there's the basic summons uh, and advanced summons as well. So what's fun about the advanced summons is you actually have a wish list. You can pick people on your wish list and you have an increased chance of actually getting your wish list champions. That's something super unique and I think is really cool in this game. Now you do have to remember these characters um, are elites and you can rank them up to like the gold level epics as they are called here. So while you're like, oh, they're just a bunch of like mid tier champions. Nope, you can actually rank them up and improve their stats. Uh, there's also friendship tokens you get to recruit champions as well. But I really like the summoning feature. Uh, it seems like they have pretty good rates for getting champions compared to some other games as well. So, I mean, they've got to have that gotcha, st gotcha influence, right? I love the gotcha. You can't help it. It's fun. Summons are fun. That RNG aspect of who am I going to summon? We love it. We love it. And the fact that they already have a solid dupe system in place with their evolution system is really nice. It just shows that you can actually improve your characters very quickly upon summoning a new champion. Uh, you don't have to sit around and wait and like grind them up and level them up slowly. You just level them up instantly because as you play and as you literally passively collect rewards as well, you are resources as well, sorry. You're getting the resources to level up a character just passively so you don't have to worry about wasting time trying to grind up a character to a high level it's just going to happen naturally from farming idly or from doing your story missions and other content in the game so big big plus there now we need to get into some fun stuff right guys free stuff we want to talk free of course this game does have gift codes to enter so i'm going to showcase a couple of those here there are some nice resources for getting free stuff to start off your account gift codes are always wanted redemption codes promo codes whatever you want to call them every game is starting to have those it seems and i'm really glad because it's just something to give you a little bit of a boost they also have a really great section in their discord guys the discord is really nice for this game as well i do want to point that out that's i'll make sure i link their community discord in my description as well but besides my own uh, and they actually release gift codes when they're doing special events or special promos like they hit 2000 uh followers in discord so boom free stuff for everybody you know super fun but speaking of this page here that we're on my friend id guys user id find me add me i am in european server 9 so if you want to join me i am in european server 9 um and yeah it's i think that i like that it looks like you could actually change your server i'm not sure how this works exactly i haven't tried it yet but i've played some other games where you can actually start multiple accounts in different servers or you can move your account to another server but just so you guys if you guys want to be where i'm at i am in server nine just wanted to make sure i state that to almost forgot server nine join me eu server nine and you could also join my clan we do have a guild me and odd one did make a guild so we are part of the claw cluster in our other game we play so we kept it the same we have a guild. <laughs> Let's see. Can we see member info? Here we go. Hey. All right. So you can join us in Claw if you are looking for a guild. We're going to try to be more active. I just started playing. I'm brand new, so, but I'm having fun with it. So we're going to keep having some fun. I also wanted to, uh, yeah, to, to point out that 
if you're going to download this game, you're like, okay, this does look pretty cool. I like the graphics. The characters look neat. Um, oh, wait, it's not available in my country. It's not available in my country yet either for some reason. <laughs> so I did have to use an APK, guys, but I will have a download link below. Give that a try first. If not, go to APK Pure or an APK site and get this downloaded. It's worth it. It's fun. Or use a VPN, whatever you got to do. This game, I highly suggest. It's just neat. The characters are fun. This is, see, they do, like I said, they do have some that are, I guess you could say more cartoony, but then there are some that are just really, really neat. And um, I guess I could take a moment. Why don't I show you guys a few of those characters here? Uh, they're just such cool vibes. I mean, the graphics are interesting for this too, besides just the gameplay itself. Love the vibe. Love the vibe. <laughs> But yeah, I think overall, my first impressions, to sum it up, I like the style, I think it's fun, I think the gameplay seems nice. I feel like I can pop into the game and do a bunch of stuff for 10 minutes and leave and be happy for the day. I don't feel like I have to obsessively grind, and the game doesn't really let you obsessively grind. I'm working on grinding campaign, I can't go farm campaign mode. Uh, I got dungeons to do. Okay, you got three. Get them done. That's it. So I kind of like that aspect. Um... We, we have so many other games that can suck away our life. Not everybody has time for that, right? So if you guys are looking for a nice idle RPG, I hope you'll give this one a try. And stay tuned for more videos, more content. Um, I'll start giving some tips, point out some of the best characters. I'll give more promo codes. We'll have lots of fun. But join me as we play Eternal Evolution, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Eternal Evolution. Play now for free.